Hey guys, Mo Muller here. Uh, I run an agency called nichewebsitemanagement.com where we help clients with starter sites all the way up to those worth over a million dollars in valuation. And in these three videos, uh, I'm gonna help you build, scale, and grow your websites so you can make more money in less time. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Google Core updates. Uh, now, there's one that just happened last week, so as of recording, that's around the March times, um, and it's been significant volatility in the SERP results. So whether you've, your traffic has gone up or gone down, uh, I really think you should pay attention to some of the core points in this video. Um, I'm gonna unpack seven vital points and strategies and tips that you can roll out onto your website to make sure that you mitigate any damage potentially that's, that your site's gone through. Um, we're gonna check some of my portfolio, some of my clients' portfolio so to see how they've kind of done. So let's get into today's video. Um, I hope you find it insightful. So first of all, I just wanna give you a kind of example of um, what it looks like when, when you've been hit by a core cool update and your website kind of just spikes up, which is kind of, it's obviously nice to see. Um, technically, you may have not done anything um, in and around the time the core cool update has happened and you've just seen a really big, huge spike in traffic. It could be like 10%, 20%, it could be up to 50%. It really depends on on, on what Google is, is, is favoring your website for. But just as, as a kind of an example, this is what a core cool update um, hitting your website positively will look like. So essentially you'll go from pretty stable to whatever trajectory you was on before, and then to just going basically that directly up, which is pretty cool to see. Usually you'll know there's a core update um, that's, that's hit your website because you'll have done nothing different and you'll see really significant uptakes in traffic or probably significant um, decreases in, in traffic as well. So this, this is kind of an example of what it looks like um, going up. And then, of course, going down. These are the ones that you don't really want to see, but it happens. Um, I think when you've been in these, this particular industry for a fair few years, you understand it's kind of part and parcel of, of um, the way Google handles organic traffic. But it's also not nice to see, and it can be really disheartening, especially if those are your money pages. But as an example, again, not many any, any significant changes to this website, but as you can see, there's like a 20%-ish um, uh, decrease in traffic and you kind of always can tell it's core update related because if it's happened just after or just before a core update has been released on Google that's the reason. So just to give some insights what is a Google core update? Now essentially a core update happens when Google makes significant and broad changes to its search engine algorithms and systems. Um, now for free you can go into Google and you can check out um, exactly what Google core updates are but essentially it happens several times a year and they make significant improvements to their overall ranking process. Well, that's what they claim, but essentially that's what they say. Um, and these core updates are uh, designed to increase the overall relevancy of search engine result pages and make it more useful for, for everyone. So, so generally, they're supposed to be for, for the better. Um, of course, if, if you've been hit by it, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like it's been helpful, but that's what the core updates are for. Usually this happens around two to three times a year, uh, the significant core updates. Um, usually around May, September, sometimes early in, in the month, in the year as well. But honestly, Google kind of update their search, search results like almost daily, almost weekly, um, but very small tweaks. So you wouldn't probably wouldn't see it. Um, but they actually have minor updates that they publish. Uh, I'd say probably every two months. Um, this is a an example of of the trajectory of of the um, the updates that happened last year. Which, if I'm being honest, there was a ton last year. So almost one every month from February, March, May, July, August, September, December. Um, a few of those were core updates, but some of them were minor updates. So it's something to bear in mind um, when you are building, scaling, uh, growing a website. You, you need to understand that you're probably going to get hit, whether it's positive or whether it's negative, by a Google, Google core update at some point in time. So here are seven kind of key ways to analyze the impact. Um, hopefully you can get some insight into, into what to do because as soon as you get hit, usually if it's, if it's significant and it's decreasing, you're probably not gonna know what to do. And the first thing you're gonna think is, this is bad, uh, I need to sell, I need to get out, I don't know what to do, uh, help me sort of thing. So the first thing to do that I recommend is just don't panic. Um, again, as you go through the process, you realize core cool updates happen very, very frequently. Um, and if you're not thinking correctly, you're gonna do something like that you're probably gonna regret. So for example, uh, you might think, I've had enough, I'm done, I'm out, I'm gonna sell, which to be honest, the, the worst time to sell is when you've just been hit by a Google Call, Google call update because all of your metrics are going down uh, and you're gonna get a way lower multiple. Um, anyhow, so if you're experiencing a significant drop or breakdown of website traffic, then obviously it's gonna be a bit stressful, especially if these are money pages. Um, try not to feel too overwhelmed, know that it's the general part and parcel of, of the process. 
and and importantly don't make any sudden alterations or, or modifications to your website because that could make things worse so until you understand exactly why your website's been hit it's probably best not to make any significant changes and if you had work that was planned to, to be done in terms of content uh, or even link building maybe it's 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 wise to pause that um or maybe like on page seo for example maybe it's wise to pause that for a few weeks until the actual rollout completes and then you can do some some analysis and check some data now it's important to keep in mind that google updates typically take a few weeks um to become fully implemented so if you're seeing really really uh kind of spikes in traffic whether that's high or low that can sometimes curve back up. It's happened frequently. So you'd see 20% drops and then sometimes it'll go back up to 10%. It can even normalize. Um, and it's exactly the same kind of going up as well. You can see super big spikes in traffic, 20%, 30%, 40%, but that can normalize down to maybe 10 or 5%. It really depends. There's no wrong or right answer here, but the best thing you can do is just kind of wait it out. So number two on the list is you need to you need data. So that's why you need to wait until, until there's actually uh, the rollout's being complete. Uh, and you know the reason for the, the uptick or the downtick in traffic. And the best way to do that is to, when the time is right, to check Google Search Console and Google Analytics, you're gonna get some awesome data from, from the free tools that Google give you. So start there first. Uh, and then also when you're ready, head over to Ahrefs, SEMrush, or any SEO tool that you're kind of using. And you wanna use this data from these tools to compile a spreadsheet of essentially problem pages. So these are pages that have had significant drops um, across your entire website. Because um, usually what you'll find is the entire website might not just fall off a cliff. You might have your top 10 or your top 20 pages or whatever it's going to be, but a significant amount of your pages will be impacted. You need to jot down what those are and then later we're going to figure out why that's happened. Now, once you've identified the, the, the problem pages, you want to go about improving those, those, the content of those pages, okay? So your problem pages are being viewed as less relevant and less authoritative than that of your competitors. So as the broad, broad core update has got rolled out, and let's say it's been in four weeks or whatever it's going to be, the data suggests that your competitors' pages are better than yours. Now, whether you agree or not, that's what Google that's what Google's viewed the website as. So try to be like very, very um, unattached to it and just look at it from, from a bird's eye view. So if that's the reason why your website has gone down, then you need to figure out what your competitors have in terms of their content and try to match um, the suit. In terms of why your content isn't ranking above theirs uh, or why your content has been, has been moved down the SERP significantly. So the first thing you wanna do is ensure your pages and posts are up to date. Um, now that doesn't mean changing the date of the, of the actual content itself. It kind of means giving it a freshen up, um, maybe adding 100 to 500 words, um, checking to see your competitive subheadings uh, and doing some content analysis to, to add in parts and, and content gaps um, to, to freshen, up the, freshen up your content essentially. Uh, Google loves fresh, freshness. They've, I think they've mentioned this all across their their, their their channels. So so you need to do a content update essentially on those on those problem pages. That's number one. And number two, you probably are going to have to go into more more in depth um, with some of the topics that you're covering. Again, comp competition analysis will kind of help you with that. Um, so when the time's right, you're going to have to check out uh, your 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 competitors H1s and H2s and H3s and follow suit, essentially make it better, maybe add more words um, and don't stuff keywords or anything like that. It needs to be it needs to be authoritative, uh, it needs to be uh, well written um, and it needs to be easy to scan and easy to read. Now the fourth point is you want to improve the authority of each uh, and every problem page and specifically you want to do some EEAT uh, research on your site and make sure everything is in order. So your on-page authority, uh, your EAT or as Google has now added an extra E, uh, your EEAT, uh, your experience, expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness, it needs to be uh, it needs to be on point, it needs to be correct and you need to be able to prove these things in Google's eyes um, for them to kind of raise you up the SERPs and reward you in these broad core updates. Uh, especially now more than ever um it's it's i think e a t or e e a t has been has been um more significant in t in terms of of having websites rank um in high positions in the serps so for your problem pages this is what you probably need to do uh, you want to ensure that there is a clear uh, that it is clear who the author of the piece of content is and you have a clear link to an author biography and specifically one that outlines the their credentials and experience. Now, if you don't have someone that's an expert in your niche, then you probably are gonna have to hire someone to write for you uh, or find someone that's, that's in and around your niche that understands your, your website and that is happy to, to be the face of the brand because um, it's important. So the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you uh, any claims that you make, so uh, any authoritative links that you have in there are hyperlinked correctly and there's, there's some type of authoritative source 
uh, for those problem pages. And essentially, you want to make sure that that it looks credible. That's that's what that's what the the, the problem page needs to be um, solved. That problem needs to be solved. So once you do that, that's those are the, the kind of main things. And then number five, the next point is how to improve the authority of the problem pages in terms of off-page SEO. So on-page will be authority, off-page will be link building. Again, you're trying to figure out, is this particular piece of, of content trustworthy? And to do that, you're going to have to ensure there's a high number of links and relevant links um, built to these particular pages. But at the very least, you need to check to make sure uh, the link profile um, and the, the backlinks that, are, that go into this page are, are authoritative, um, are relevant, um, are coming from really good um, high authority domains, etc., and they don't have anything unnatural put into it. Um, again, you can probably go into to more detail there, but I just want to keep this this kind of concept um, a bit more simple. So if you can do your off page and on page authority um, checks, then you should be in a better position to understand why Google have have, have maybe penalised you uh, in terms of the core updates and how to how to overcome it. Now. Number six is competition analysis. Now, after you've done all those first five points, the next thing you want to do is you want to go down your problem pages and you want to see what your competitors have done um, that you haven't. So if one of your pages goes down in, in the search rankings and the competitors goes up, then you have to try to figure out essentially what's happened. Okay, so what? why have they gone up and why have you gone down? Now, again, you can use, use um, search, search tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush. Um, but also you're going to have to probably do some research yourself. So go ahead into your competition site, check their websites, check their structures, check their con contact us page, about us page, check their review pages, informational posts. It does take a little bit of time, um, but essentially, but what you need to find out is why they've gone up, what they are doing that you're, that you're not doing and why, why Google's favored them. Um, there's something that, that they're doing that you're probably not. And the best way to figure that out is just to check their website in, in depth. Now, again, this can take a little bit of time. Uh, also, sometimes you can find out that their content and their their, their article structure uh, is terrible. And for you, it's like, why are they have they increased in set results and you haven't? But again, you have to use kind of your your best best guesses. You're gonna have to do more than just one or two competitor analysis. Uh, and then even if you found out that you, essentially your website probably is more structurally sound, you, there are things that you can that you can improve on your website um, to to help Google see it as more credible. Now, number six on the list, um, it's technical SEO. I would kind of just broadly go through these. They are obviously very super important, um, but usually the first five are gonna be a bit more important in terms of the broad core updates, but you're gonna to have to check your, your page loading times. Uh, you wanna check your core web vital scores. You can plug that into a, a tool online that'll do it for you for free. Uh, you wanna check your headers and your page titles and meta descriptions, um, any internal and external links. Uh, you wanna check your SSL certificate to make sure that's, that's correctly updated. Um, your sitemaps so that Google can actually find your sitemap and, and rank your pages. Um, you want to make sure that your, that your robot text file is correctly marked up and you have your structured schema markup is, is available for, the, for, for Google to read. Um, don't spend too much time on these things. They are important, but, but I think it's, it's relevant for me to mention them. Um, but there are, there are a lot of things that you can, you can fix on a broken website, so to speak. But as long as you get your, your kind of content, your structure and your kind of links uh, in check, they would have probably marked off around 80% of the checks uh, of, of why Google would, would kind of bring your website down. Um, and hopefully once those are, are successfully repaired, you're gonna see some upticks. So next on the list is publish new content. Now, uh, you, you don't wanna do this straight away, of course. You wanna make sure the core update rolls out correctly. Uh, look for content gaps in your compet competition's websites and their posts, in the similar posts, of course. And you wanna to try to establish topical authority for your site. So if your site is talking about um, specific a silo, then make sure that you pad out that silo first so you can be seen in Google's eyes as an expert. Um, and of course, as I mentioned before, you don't want to do it straight away um, because you work, if there's a core update happening and you add tons of content, there's no way for, for you to see if that content actually made any difference or not. So those are, those are the seven tips. I just want to just, just highlight the, the last point. Um, again, it can be super stressful to have a core update hit, especially if it's significantly trending down. First thing you want to do is relax. The second thing you want to do is, is research. Um, and then the last thing you want to do is revitalize your website. So if you can do those things, probably in that order, um, and then span it over a, a two months, ish three months kind of not do it, don't do it straight away because you you might be in, in a kind of stressful stress state uh, that makes more sense in the long run and then generally what you'll find is your website should start to stabilize and then two things will happen the first thing is number one your website may just spike back up to where it was before 
Or number two is it probably will stay at that trajectory for um, the foreseeable future until the next broad update hits. Google re-establishes their criteria and they realize that you've made all the all the, all the recommendations. You've done all the suggestions that they've said. So you've refreshed the site essentially, and Google have seen it, and now they've they're able to track it, and then hopefully. Um, traffic will, will regain to where it was. Sometimes it can even go up a little bit or down a little bit. Um, so hopefully this video has been insightful. Feel free to, to kind of pause it, go through it, uh, make some notes, etc. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.